This week's Aspire to Do task is called Retro Gaming, and you're going to be playing Pac-Man, in this case Pac-Man Doodle, an old school video game where Pac-Man actually undergoes three rigid transformations. Pac-Man will be doing reflections, rotations, and translations. So it'll be really fun to connect video games with what we've been learning in geometry. First, we want you to practice playing the game. If you click here, there is a link. So you can go right to Pac-Man Doodle. Mine comes up big because I've already enlarged it, but you can size it up or down. I'm actually going to size mine up because it's easier for me to see. And the game goes like this. You just hit play and then the sound comes on and you use your arrow. I'm trying to collect these tokens, I guess we're going to call them, without getting captured. Oops, got captured. <laughs> and so when you do collect um, one of these specialty tokens, you can not worry about being captured. The easy game to figure out. And you continue like that. Now you can also, there's an escape hatch here. Oops. <laughs> anyway, there's an escape hatch that goes left and right. So now I pr pretend you've practiced playing. Then when you're done playing, um, you're going to be ready to upload a video. So one part of the task is you're going to upload a video of you playing this game. And we're going to upload the video using a program called flip.com. And when you're ready, you're going to record. But before you press record, we're going to have the game um, ready to go. So I'm probably going to get this game ready to go. And it's going to be centered properly. And when I'm ready, I'm going to hit record. There's three buttons on the right. It says more options. We're going to record a screen. Select a screen to record. And it's going to be this one. We're going to hit share and we're ready to show you really quickly how this would work. Okay, so pretend I'm done playing the game, then I'm going to stop sharing. Okay, so now my video is ready to, I hit the next button down here, and I can just put my name in there, and then you can post it to topic. So that's part one of this project. Okay. Now, part two of the project, part two, and by the way, you could grab your link right there, create link, and on your copy of the um, slideshow, you could just add your link somewhere there if you'd like to as a text box, that would work. Now we're going to go down here, and this is where we want to really think about the mathematics. So Ms. Pac-Man's movements can be described as a series of geometric transformations. The first four transformations have been listed below. So we're going to, when we press play, it's going to be in slow motion. When we press play, we're going to see Ms. Pac-Man, who's going to start down here, reflect across the line x equals 0.5. I'm actually going to stretch this and make this bigger because it might be easier for you to see if you stretch it. Okay, so I'm going to press play and watch for the first transformation. You tap it once. Here she goes. She just, all right, so did you see that? Ms. Pac-Man just switched her face direction. It was pointing to the left. It pointed to the right. That's where the reflection across the line um, x equals 5 comes from. Next, we're going to watch as she rotates 90 degrees counterclockwise about the point 2, comma, negative 9.
There's the rotation. Notice Ms. Pac-Man is now moving up three units. Now she rotated 90 degrees clockwise about that point. Now when Ms. Pac-Man rotated 90 degrees clockwise about the point 2, negative 6, Ms. Pac-Man was down here. The very next transformation is Ms. Pac-Man is going to the right. She's tr being translated. Going to the right means translating using the rule. And you have to come up with the rule. If it's going to the right, it's x plus something, comma. And if she hasn't moved up or down, it's y. So let's watch these one more time. Every time you type over here, it restarts it. So just play it and then watch and make sure this, this makes sense. I reflected. Now we're rotating. Now we're moving up three units. Now we're ro rotating 90 degrees clockwise right there. And we're moving one, two, three, four, five, six units to the right, and then rotate again. And that time the rotation was counterclockwise. And the point of rotation, the center point was right here. So that's what we're doing. Every time we see something different, we describe it. And I think the point was, oh, I think it was eight comma negative six, but I'm not positive. So you would just play it again and you would check to see if that's right. You would continue until you have three more uh, transformations described. Then you're just gonna submit to Schoology. Have fun with this one.